English county cricket is obviously being scrutinized a lot more now because of the test performances. And I follow Sky Sports cricket a lot. So you had the mm-hmm. likes of Nasir Hussain, Rob Key discussing about the structure in the county cricket. Uh, what do you feel needs to change for English cricket to become better, at least at the county level, so that the test cricketers that come maybe even for their debuts are ready for international cricket and do, they do not have to you know spend. 15 20 test to get adjusted to international cricket at that level there's a there's a few changes i think that could happen i mean starting off with the counties themselves some of the counties they're not very good and they don't have a lot of funding so that's a problem because you might have one county like let's say lancashire or yorkshire who have a lot more money than let's say a northhands or glamorgan right that doesn't help because what's the point having sides in the county championship who aren't competitive i like what they did recently they changed the format of the tables of how teams play each other which is good because it means there's more competitive cricket but the same stage there are counties there that are just they're just not good enough and again it's like almost let me put i mean as an example if you see the premier league you don't really want to see teams like norwich come up to the, to the premier league all the time because they're just not good enough you want to see more competitive type sides and i think in the county championship that's what you want to see so that's one change and in the second change as well is is little things so like um when it comes to the young players for example young players don't really get that much of a chance in county championship and what i mean mean by that is they play but they don't come to the forefront as much if you see a player like let's say will rhodes he's the captain of warwickshire who i think is quite good but he only recently come into it whereas if he was allowed to be given a chance earlier then he would have we could have potentially seen him at his at his peak a lot earlier so i think that's another change that could happen i think another change as well is trying to get as many overseas players as they can i know english cricket has been doing it for a while we can go back to you know decades before when wasim akram was here from lancashire uh, sachin was here from he was at yorkshire for a bit um you know players have come from the past but we need to try and get as many overseas players here as possible because those are the players that english cricketers will be eventually playing against at some point in the future so i think that's another thing they can look at as well i think one more point that i have heard about in these podcasts that i'm referring to is the fact that a lot of average pacers in their uh, late 30s with speeds of around 70 to 80 miles actually they get a lot in the side because of the conditions that they play so spinners do not get games or probably even if they do get into the side they do not get enough overs because of the kind of pitches that are made in england and because of the weather conditions as well of course you can't do anything about the weather conditions but you can certainly do something about the pitches so, so that maybe you know most spinners come into the game graeme swan is someone who has been consist- uh, who has been you know always been criticizing england cricket board for that the fact that they're not helping out spinners so i think uh, that is also one of the things that they should prioritize on Yeah so I mean what you're saying uh Suryan makes sense with the pitches as well like you said with Graham Swan for so long English pitches they're not spinner friendly and when it comes to places like Sri Lanka um uh, India eventually you know Pakistan as well Bangladesh you know all these places you know you need spinners out there and you know Don Bess is not going to do it when Joe Root got a five for in the Gujarat pitch I was just like what the hell's going on get me to end the bad I'll get you six wickets <laughs> if you want like come on <laughs> Like bloody hell! But the point is, we need good pitches in England. But the also the other problem as well is the fact that seamers in England is going to take at least ten years for quick seamers who are very good in other conditions to come through who don't rely on seam. Like India for ages didn't really had have good fast bowlers, but now have probably one of the best fast bowling attacks in the world. So it will take time because the only player. looking forward let's not think about anderson and broad because they will be going soon jofra archer is always injured that's his problem but he's a very good bowler and then ollie robinson and there's another bowler um mamud coming through who's all right yeah. but again it's going to take time for a good core to come through for english cricket in terms of bowlers they need to help the bowlers that's the key yeah i really like robinson as a bowler like, yeah, like he's right up there yeah so we were actually going to come to that we were actually going to come to english fast bowlers so if you look at it on paper you have a lot of fast bowling options i mean i'm not discounting uh, uh, stuart broad and anderson i'm including them in this list of bowlers as well but with with the likes of all these bowlers getting uh, stress factors and do you feel that there's something that is wrong in the 
preparation for test matches like the coaching uh, the academy where they train do you think that like there's something that is wrong over there because a lot of these players are getting stress fractures which is something that shouldn't be happening at their age especially with uh, jofra archer or uh, ollie robinson also got one if i'm not wrong or someone someone I, i've forgotten the name but someone got someone else also went to the same thing and stuart broad also went to the same thing once so is there something that is being done at the academy which is causing these things if you are aware of that oh mate i'll tell you what sorry and she's an absolute detective because i didn't even think about it like that i was more thinking why are they just always getting injured because it's mark wood jofra arch yeah mark wood Ball. mark wood right mark wood yeah mark wood who's also a very quick bowler but he's always injured yeah. um who else uh, anderson's got injured a few times as well always has like pulls and shr- i mean he's older so it makes sense but yeah, yeah i don't know what's going on because there's some good potential bowlers there for england but yeah. they're always yeah. injured so what's the point i don't understand maybe they need to get yeah. surian show over there and investigate because <laughs> they're clearly not doing a good enough job because we don't know what's going on <laughs> yeah. yeah so my knowledge is clearly based on the readings that i see from espn <laughs> cricket for all the podcasts that i listen to from sky sports cricket and all these sources so thodi bhi na rakta tha dimag mein fikr na zubaan pe zikr full gilas mein likar aur sleeve pe jig